Yeah. 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 Come on. Welcome. Oh, be good if I put myself in the picture. Good afternoon. Sean Higgs coming at you. It is midday money here on a Saturday afternoon. Welcome on into the show. Hope everybody is well today and had a nice Friday night. You're up on Saturday. It's always good to get up after a Friday night. Doing Friday night things. Oh, I remember youthful Friday night. Long time ago. Good times. Good times. No no video phone evidence of acting a fool. Thank goodness. Anyway. Um, Twitter, Mr. Sean Higgs. YouTube channel, Sean Higgs winning free picks. Be sure to like, subscribe, follow. I'm um I'm just five subscribers away on Sean Higgs from sixteen hundred subscribers. So check that out. And a mere hundred hours away from another hours milestone. So listen, if you haven't gone to the Sean Higgs page as well. Give me a follow over there on YouTube and uh, listen, I'm not saying when you go to bed, let your phone play my playlist all night long for eight hours to juice up my hours. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. Podcast form available, Midday Money, Spotify, Pandora, iHeartRadio, uh, Google, TuneIn, Stitch. I don't even know all the different uh, podcast platforms, but there are a bunch of them, apparently. So you type in Midday Money, boom, you see the llama with the headset. We're ready to go. We're ready to go. And uh, let's get ready to go here on a Saturday. You got some plays. I'll post them in a second. Let's do a little recap of yesterday's action. And, uh, what do we go? Two and two last night or afternoon, however you want to word our video picks. Dodgers team total over. Yes. Atlanta team total over. Yes. Natty's Phillies over. Did not get there. And the Angels run line. A loser. But. Uh, we had plus money on the Dodgers team total, uh, plus money on the run line. So it is a wash, 16 and 12, 450 player props. We did catch one uh, at the Brave game to help out the cause. So one of four day, 12 and seven plus 255. We'll be on our way. We uh, Let's let's get into it. I, said, I didn't even write down a time for the recap. It happens. I do, I do time stamp them. In the podcast. So there is that. Let's get to today's action. And we'll tweet them out. Let's go to Tweedledum, D. X World has the picks. Scroll has the picks. Comment section. Soon to have the picks as soon as I hit. Oh my goodness. Be good if I had something to paste in there. Because I didn't. I do now. And there you go. Look at that. Three minutes of your life you could get on. So at least that you could the least you could do for me is hit the like button. Alrighty. Mentioned 16 and 12 baseball plus 450 here in the video. I did go 101 on the sites yesterday. 62 percent, 24 and 15, I believe. Not too bad. Had a nice little start to the season. We'll take it. A triple play. Of free picks in the midday money show. Dodgers team twelve. We'll keep we'll keep going back to this one. Over four and a half. It is minus one twenty. I put in there. So you know, I try to put uh, if it's a plus or a little minus more than a one ten. I, I want to add it in there to get the correct grade on it. People, you know, get think you're lying about things. I don't know why I come in. I I give out a losing record. I'm not lying about anything. Dodgers team total over minus. The 124 and a half. Orioles run line plus 114. You know, I didn't play this one personally. I'm, I'm just kind of torn. It was 125 last night when we did a look at lines. Dave Rogers picks from Dave came in last night, hung out with us for an hour and a half. We did the plays, which was cool. I kind of I kind of liked it. You know, you got my side and got Dave's side. So hopefully you got a little bit out of those. And we did every game. So you got our thoughts on every single game. But this one here was 125. I thought it was a little low. I was like, oh, man, I want to take them. But, uh, and that's up to a 140. Whatever. We'll do a run line. You know I like this team. We had Grayson Rodriguez to take care of business, and he did. Rangers minus the 110. I said I like the Rangers yesterday. You're going to give the champs some plus money at home versus a rival. I mean, let's be honest. Houston owns Texas. Uh, Texas has won last year's World Series, but this is a team Houston kind of looks down on. I said, J.P. France, nice. I, I like the guy, but I'm going to take Texas here. Hitting the ball, and that's what it comes down to. 
Houston, not bats are not there in the bullpen to me. A little sketchy. Ten runs yesterday. Uh, we'll go Texas again here. We got a college hoop play up here. The eighty-one fifty-one run through the conference tournament to NCAA is good. Super. It uh, got us down. We were down a huge chunk, but that helps out. Two forty-three, two twenty-nine a year, but it is a losing season. I know people don't say they have a losing basketball season. I'll tell you how to lose a college basketball season because uh, just kind of like double these numbers here. You know, I got a little more on the uh, premium side of things, but hey, it is what it is. I'm not going to lie. I, I can't lie. All my posts, plays are posted. So I like Alabama here. I like Alabama. The Purdue game, NC State, I, I said on a couple shows yesterday, I want to see how this one plays out. I want to watch. Are they going to do the tic-tac touchy fouls being called? Are they going to let the, the big boys play down low? No fouls? You know, we, we, they let them play. I, I think uh, NC State could, could give them a little battle. If it's foul town, Purdue's going to win that like by 20. Uh, so, again, nothing official. But we got Bam in the chat here, plus 11 and a half. Hockey, 20 and 20, plus 50 bucks. NBA, 43, 38, plus 345. I told you, stay the hell away from the NBA. No betting line this last week. Uh, how many people got crushed again? Again, I talked about it last night with this Milwaukee Buck team. 17 point favorites. They come down to 14, lose outright. Would he stop magic? Lose outright. Just stop and why? You, you can't wait. You, you can't wait to the playoffs to start for a week. These are, the, these are the things you want to bet on. Doc Rivers, 15 and 16 since taking over. Three straight games losing his double to the faves outright. Stop it. Get some help. Just stop with the NBA. Oh my God. Goodness. Hockey, though, I got to say, uh, L.A. Kings. Mel last night was like, Higgs, I got a winner for you. I love hockey. Take the Kings. So I, I took the Kings. So let's go Kings. I didn't put them in the chat here, but I'm telling you what I did for myself because I have faith in Mel. Hockey fan. All right, let's get to the uh, comments. Oh, I, you know what? I don't know if he's going to come in today or is he a late night guy, whether he found me through when I was on Picks for Days yesterday or maybe he was with when I was a Tooch and Ant. Uh, Peter Puck, obviously, kind of likes hockey with a name like Peter Puck. He likes Winnipeg Jets today. So there is that out there. If you want to do a little uh, Winnipeg action, that's a 4 o'clock start versus the Minnesota Terry Wilds. Getting wild for Terry. He was a big Minnesota Wild. So Winnipeg and the Kings. I don't know. You money line them. You puck line them. You, you par- I don't know what you want to do with them. But – a guy named Peter Puck likes the Jets. I'm thinking he likes hockey. And Mel and Dave backed it up, said pretty good at hockey. L.A. Kings. I'll throw it out there. I, I say this about people when they you know, I talk about Ray and his soccer. I say, you know, you see T Money comes in here with a bunch of uh, huge plus money plays, player prop king with his player props. Things I don't really, again, small winning seasons in these sports. Uh, speaking of winning, I got to, you know, give that. You know, crazy, crazy. I, I hate saying like crazy, Mister Numbers. It sounds so bad because I love how he talks about himself in the in the third person, calling himself the smartest man, and nobody, nobody on the planet's betting his play. The Dodgers, because he puts it on after the fact. He watch, he doesn't watch live. He watches replays. And if you're on YouTube, you, you see his comment. Ten straight days, he's had the Dodgers over three and a half batters in the first inning, and you're laying juice. Yesterday it was like 280, 290, but it's ten and zero. No, I mean, I guess it helps when Mookie's hitting 645 and uh, Freddie's hitting 350 or whatever the heck he is, and Otani's starting to hit. He's 10 and 0 in it. I, I got to give him his props. I tell him, I said, listen, you know, I'm not going to come and give that out. And I love Mr. Trump. He's like, oh, no, no cappers in the world. I'm the only guy doing this. I'm sure somebody else is betting that. I sure as heck ain't laying the 280. I don't care what it is, but I know people like props. There's one of them. There's one of them. And uh, speaking of props, we got some. Kansas City Royal props today versus Chris Flexen. I had I was gonna go prop with I'm like, wait, is that Chris Flexen? Let's add some 12 and 17 plus 255 in the props. Um, all of them have been plus money except for the uh Gleber Torres run prop yesterday, minus 115. Otherwise, you've been plus money in all the props. Garcia plus 150 ribby. He's batting leadoff, but he's got eight ribbies, so he's got some timely hitting for a guy hitting 240. I'll take a plus 150 against Chris Flexen. MJ Melendez, he's hitting four or five. 185, he's hitting the ball a little bit. I'll take a plus 185. And Adam Frazier at a two, 285. Obviously, I think Flexen's going to get hit. Now, as long as um, 
Bobby Witt or Vinny P and Sally Dog Perez don't hit like home runs or clear the bases, there'll be two guys on base here for Frazier. I, you know, I'm hoping the first inning it might be like two nothing. Frazier's up with second and third, and Melendez already cashed a ribby, and Frazier rips one, and we got you know two a one eighty five and two eighty five in the bag before Garcia even gets opportunity unless he leads off the game with a homer, but I'm probably thinking that's a third or fifth inning ribby for him. So there's some ribby props for you. Enjoy. They were scrolling underneath, but they did not fit in the limit box here. The old, the other channel after streaming, what was that? Be live, be live, be live, be live. Cause I do, I'm on the believe network, but there was a thing called be live. You could, I had all types of banners in the old days. You go back to the old videos, boy, they were, the screen was loaded up. It was loaded up. Michael B. Good morning. Huff, Purdue, hammer play. He wants to hammer the boy. I don't hate this. I, You know, I understand the love for NC State. True Cinderella's. I'll announce you got the hammer out. Well, I'll hammer the point in that Purdue has four losses, two by overtime, and they've beaten – Sweet 16 teams, not where they got two over Illinois, two over Tennessee, two over Gonzaga, six. Uh, who else did they beat? Arizona, uh, Marquette, just ridiculous wins. Uh, I, their play versus, in the last game versus Tennessee, down, back up, blow a lead, come back. Maybe maybe they're not in choke mode, right? Because that was my concern with them. Close game. Here come the nerves. Oh, my goodness. I think they battled those demons and passed it. I, I don't. I, I think Purdue went. I mean, nine and a half tells me that they think NC State gets in foul trouble or they just run out of gas because they don't have enough depth. And... Purdue hits their threes, whatever the case would be. I, I don't I don't hate this at all. Again, I'm I'm gonna wait to see the first five minutes, see how this game plays out if I jump in. Because it's an open day, Giants walk it off bottom line, could not ask for more when it go into a game. Good game for you in there, Mike. Good game. I did like the over though. I didn't play it though. I didn't play it. Lock it in with the king is in the house. Jake is here. I got the second leg, but probably on Purdue just to win. Really tempted to look at Bama plus points. I think Bama hits some threes. The coach basically said, I'm not going to be like Illinois and, and run into uh, the Klingons in the middle and, and just have my ball swatted out every play. So you know they're going to shoot threes. If they're falling, it's a game. If they're not falling, we're going to know We're going to know it at the 13-minute mark if this game's 17-6, to 6, if Alabama has a shot here. You know. I like the Orioles today. Jake must have came in late, did not get the Orioles run line plus 114. To start the show when we did the rundown at the 245 mark, we did the rundown. There's the Facebook page. Dennis O'Brien checking in. Thank you, Dennis. Dennis always with the like right live in the show. And I'd be remiss if I didn't mention Rick Wilde and Brio and Abel and Mike Downey. Uh, always, sometimes after the fact, hit the like button on Facebook. I'm not a huge Facebook guy. I, I, I recreated an account just so I could post through the, the video. But apparently, I didn't even have to because there was already a... Uh, Winning free pick page attached. So, but thank you, Facebook. There's the YouTube channel for winning free picks. And there I am, Sean Higgs. Give it again. Five subs away from uh, 1,600 on my Sean Higgs YouTube. Give it a follow and listen to the playlist. Again, I'm 100 hours away from another milestone. I know what I'm going to get. It's not like I got like a, a trophy or something. But, you know, I don't have a lot of hours. Most videos are, you know, three minute free pick videos, 20 minute baseball card. Tops boxes. Michael B., great day to be from the Bay. Warriors, A's, and Giants for a nice 3 0 sweep. A friend told me I had to bet the Coyotes. They were down 4 1 going to the third and score 6 2 and 7. Yeah, we were talking about that live last night. I, I said yesterday I kind of like the Coyotes. Mike, were you here? I said I kind of like Arizona with the, the big number versus Vegas. Flea Mathis is in the house. Good to see you, Flea. Welcome. Michael B. says, College Hoops, I'm on Bama first half. I think they keep. Uh, Again, if they're making threes, it's a game. Um, if they start missing and it gets out of control, it's going to be a 75-55 UConn blowout. Alabama money lines is King D. Big, big money line dog. 
Lex says the winds are blowing in. How are the Astros nerfy plus money? The winds are blowing in. How's it plus money? Um, probably because the winds are blowing in and they don't think they're going to score runs. That's why it'd be plus money, no runs. Actually, no, that doesn't make sense, right? Because it'd be it'd be a yes, no runs. Interesting. What is the uh, twenty miles an hour winds? Do they hit John Gray? Is that is that what we're thinking here? Is that is that the thought process behind this one? I mean, the Astros haven't hit anything all year. Houston versus Gray. One home run, Altuve, and it's one home run, and they face them 7, 14, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 68, 78, uh, 85, 90 at-bats. One home run and 90 at-bats. I mean, we've got a guy. What's this? Two for three for seven, four for uh, four for no. It was over th- oh, thirteen at bats, two thirty average. I mean, not a lot of uh. Why is this? What do we got? Even on the JP France side, they've only faced them once. Two or three. Three of five, one of three, three for four. I mean, Seager, three for four with two homers. I guess they think he's going to hit a home run his first at bat. I don't know. That's interesting, Lex. Jake says Purdue will win, not 100% of the cover, but nine. I don't see them losing. Yeah, I think Purdue's a really good team. I said to him on wins for the Nats, but Stars will find a way to throw a home run first inning. A lot of wind. So I mean, like the Colorado, I saw they have like forty mile an hour winds on the uh, the the weather tracker, and it's like the totals down to eleven and a half. Now, yesterday's game was at an eight before a crazy ninth inning, so maybe that is correct in the in the uh, Rockies game. NC State told me a joke. No, Lex, he's a monster. I mean, he's six eight, six nine. He's two ninety. I mean, he's a big body. Yeah. But if they're going to call every time a foul, every time he forms in the back and tries to, to body him up, well, he's going to be gone in five minutes. He's on a bench with, with two fouls in the first four minutes of the game. Where are we going? Jake said probably the Red Sox money line all three games against the A's and with Purdue money line. Oh, my goodness. What does that pay? <laughs> what does that pay? Uh. Michael B. Giants money line. I think win is a good young pitcher. Giants have already seen King from the Padres. I think the Giants have the bullpen advantage and are playing with some momentum. I mean, I don't, I don't hate it. For me, you know more about win than I do. I, I look at these two pitchers and think, eh. Now, last week we saw some runs in the series. Yesterday was what three two 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 one whatever it was. It's a pass for me. King D says Marlins cards under four and a half first five two unit play. King D's coming in with an under Marlins, Mats and Trevor Rogers. Uh, I don't hate it. Like, what are we getting at the Marlins? I mean, zero and eight. Roger, yeah, as as bad as he gave up runs, right? Four runs where he gave up last game. Struck out seven. We got to get through. I, I don't. I don't hate this. Is a lot. What's the, is there a crazy juice on this king? You know, I'm not looking at first five unders or first five sides either. Look at me. Says MLB. I almost want to take the Yankees. I've seen people like betting Gasman at this cheap price. I think Smith and the Yanks are hitting better. Um, listen, I'm a Gasman guy. I said last night, give me Gasman in this spot. I know the, the Jays have not hit, but the Yankees, I, uh, again, I, I'm not sold on the Yankees. Uh, I'll take Gasman at this price. I'm, I'm going better pitcher early. 
Lauren's in the house. Hello, show. And today, I like the Twins run line with Joe Ryan. I don't hate a little Joe Ryan action. You want to go Joe Ryan? Uh, sure. Jays with Caspin. I like uh, Rushman for the O's over one and a half bases and the Bruins in regulation. No. Let me look at who's. I don't even know what the Bruins have here. What do we got here? Against the Florida Panthers at home in regulation. Uh, that's got, I mean, what is that bet? It's got to be plus money. I mean, they're only minus 110 or something for the game, 120. Lex says, wrote it, but looks like it didn't send. Keep it in the classy with the Higster. It did not send. I see it now. What the hell is going on with my phone here? I don't know why my kids put me in a group text. I say, you know, I don't even usually answer group text chats. So in case anybody in the chat has my number, don't group text me. But you don't, so it doesn't make a difference. Oh, Michael Conforto for Michael B. Here we go. The price on this keeps going every day, but I'm going to continue to bet it. Hitting 417 has 10 ribbies. And RB had six of the last eight games he's played. Plus two dollars could afford a ribby. Get it, get it while it's hot. Come to the table for that one. Ninja says, I guess Purdue do listen to this show because they're probably tired of me talking crap about him. Yeah, Ninja. I'm I, I think you're the single reason why Purdue wins the national championship. They're going to come in. They're going to win, and as they're holding up the trophy, they're going to unleash a banner of this little marshmallow man with the with the hat on and be like, we did it for Ninja. South Carolina Gamecocks versus Iowa Hawkeyes. Birds versus birds. So, men, can it be wolves versus wolves? <laughs> Who are the wolves? The wolf pack? Is that what we're saying? I guess. I guess we'll pack. Tamu says, Sean, looking at under in the Yukon game. Your thoughts? Um, see, I my thoughts on why I took Alabama is because I think they're going to hit threes. And I said I like the Yukon team total over. It's 85. So I I know a lot of guys around the under guys, I, I got respect, like under, under, under. I don't know. Uh, again, I mean, it's biased because I'm thinking Alabama is going to hit some threes here. And generate some points, and, and and just go look at how they play. I mean, their lowest scoring game is versus Grand Canyon, not North Carolina. You know, not better team. I mean, those are teams that run. So I, I don't, I don't want to say I'm gonna think this game goes under. Even even if they score 70, 60, UConn could score ninety. Like UConn just plays. Right? They say, oh, they're efficient. Well, how efficient are you going to be if the team you're playing is running up and down the court, launching threes, missing them, and you're getting rebounds or running the other way for easy layups? How are you? They're scoring 77. Teams are scoring 50, trying to get them into playing the play in the 50s. So I think UConn gets into the 80s by accident, no matter what. I mean, if you think – it's really to me is if you think Alabama is not going to be able to score and, and miss their shots, then this is a dead, dead, dead bones under. 80-60, not even close. If you think Alabama scores because you like it with the points, then this is an over game. It's an over. It's a it's an easy over. You know, this game could be in the 50s at halftime for both teams. I'm going to say 50s. I'm saying somebody's going to score 50 by the half. I also need UConn on the money line to compete for a parlay at minus 113. But now Markel says I'm on the over in St. Louis. All righty. No action for me. Panthers don't seem to be able to beat the Bruins. So it's like, again, 20 and 20 in the video. Uh, personal site plays with, with the uh, hockey. What are we, 34, 27. I mean, not a lot of action. It's a winning record because they're, I'm not taking faves. You see it here. 20 and 20 gets me 50. So 34 and 27 is going to put me up a couple hundred. Um, I'll, I'll wait to the playoffs. Thank you very much. My line, Markel says, minus 13 as a parlay is worrying to me and just to get the juice down. For what? Well, I mean, obviously the 113 is you got a juiced up money line somewhere. Kindy says, I found even money, but it's a four. Also, they're under three and it has a plus 124. I don't know if I want to do that. I mean, Rogers come in, walk two guys, and you know, 
Walker, somebody hits a home run. It's it could be it could be two could be could be two nothing in the first inning. Uh, Michael Bay, I have no idea what to do with the Purdue game. The whole world's betting NC State, but it really has not mattered in this tournament. I know. I listen. Um, I haven't been a lover of NC State. The nine and a half says Purdue to me. I mean, Purdue's clearly the better team. I, I can't. I can't run down to Purdue. Same, same with UConn. Are we going to run down their losses? And they're going to say, you know, out of all the teams, Alabama, it's not really a shocking that Alabama's here, right? Because when you could score, you can outscore your opponent, anything's possible. The defense leaves a little to be desired. But UConn and Purdue, and rightly so, I mean, have been the best teams all year. You want to put Houston in that again? A guy gets hurt, you don't know what. Could have been with them being in in the uh, Final Four as well. They were really the best teams all season long. This is not a shocker that they're here. As much as everybody wants to kick in Purdue's back. You know, UConn won it all last year. You got big faves. Two good teams. It's There's no conspiracy when Purdue wins. I had this lesson. Oh, man, they're going to call. They call all these fouls for Edie. Have, have they been calling fouls for him all season long? No. I mean... I, I'm going to say Purdue. I like Purdue. Faft is in the house. Good to see you, Faft. Michael B. says, I think Edie's going to destroy DJ Burns. Now, if Burns had a nice 15-footer, could hit a three, could force Edie out of the paint, maybe. First four, uh, Final four is usually where the Cinderella's get crushed. Yeah, I agree. Well, we've seen it in the past. Davis is in the house. Davis, good to see you. Davis, I have... I mean, Jesse Shule sometimes sends me quotes from your Facebook page. And I got Tony K, the Vegas top dog himself. You know what? They were asking about you because Tony K sent it to a little chat him in with a uh, couple other guys. And my one friend likes to kind of troll me a little bit. It's like, oh, what's, what's Davis say? <laughs> so Norfolk, who is Norfolk? Is this, is this, the, is this minor league baseball? Norfolk? I don't even know who Norfolk is. I hope you're well, Davis. You know I enjoy when you come in. And when I lose, you let me know. When I win, you don't let me know. But I have no opinion on Norfolk. Can't help you with that one. Stephen Bowman's in the house, my guy. Steve, good to see you, Stephen. Good morning. Top play over eight in Dodgers-Cubby game. I I think yes. I'm not sold on this. Dodger pitcher, I know he's a lot of hype. Uh, which I, the Dodger team total again four and a half. What are we doing here? Four and a half with this lineup, and I don't even like the lineup. I will take four and a halves until they start bumping up to five and a halves. I agree with you on the over. Tamush is asking when I'm gonna kill. What about the one that's one thirteen? Nathan's in house. I'm on the tide. First half, I agree. Uh, Superman says, I like Purdue. I like Purdue also. Already hit Man City and <laughs> with Iowa. NC State, lack of depth. That's what I think. Especially if they're calling fouls. It could get ugly. Teams like Bama creating these three-point shooting teams. When they get hot, they can beat anyone. And Bama's not a surprise if they're hitting from outside. I can see the upset. I mean, yeah. If you're going to score 90 points, I, yeah, you're going to have a shot of winning the game. I don't care who you're playing. You play in U- 1990 UNLV. Does it, who any insert any team? You're gonna shoot the lights out and score 90 a game. I mean, maybe if you're not playing like the Bo Kimmel Hank Gather squad that's putting up 145, but even then, if you're hitting points, <laughs> you, you might. Uh, I'm on a boilermaker's first half. I agree. Ninja says NC State lack of depth, but they've been winning. Yeah, they have. Um, they have. I mean, what's there to say? NC State's in the final four. Oklahoma City Dodgers in a minor league. Oh, my Davis. <laughs> minor league action. I don't even. I, I got to get Tim Early here. Minor league baseball we're doing. Minor league OKC Dodgers. I got to ask, please, anybody in the chat at minor league baseball? And are we doing minor league baseball because the Dodgers have, like, at this point, I'd be like, hey, give me some Orioles minor league baseball. They got a pretty good team. I mean, they scored like 20 the other day. That team uh, stacked. I mean, the Dodgers always have good minor leagues as well. Minus one for 
uh, Davis, I cannot condone this one bit. Not one bit. Minor league baseball? Minor league baseball. Stop it. Get some help. Minor league baseball? Oh. Uh, so they're not lack of depth. They, they are lack of depth. <laughs> Maybe because they haven't have guys fouling out. Let's see what happens. I laid 125 ball talk. That's not too bad. Next says the Dallas Stars minus two and a half versus Chicago. The Blackhawks. Terrible Blackhawk team. Team says Norfolk Tides are playing the Charlotte Knights in Charlotte. Minus 190. Are the Norfolk Tides, is that the Mets? They used to be the Tidewater Tides. Again, I go back to like the 80s, the Tidewater Tides. Right? I think that's the Mets. What do you think about the Rangers and Tampa Bay Lightning Parley? I like the Rangers. 21-12. Good to see you. And on the ice, we're going to parlay it. Early action. Uh, I don't know. How about an over? First, how about a first period over with Tampa Bay? Just an over Tampa. They've been an over machine. Go over. Uh, today we're eating good. Well, we're gonna see. Scranton Rail Riders. I mean, listen. I I go to Somerset Patriot games when I was in Jersey. I, I hit the Space Cowboys down here in Sugarland for the Strohs. Uh, Blue Claws and Lakewood for Jersey. Sure. I love some minor league baseball. If I'm doing minor league baseball, any game I've gone to has, has always been an over. They've always been an over minor league baseball. I don't, I, I don't bet minor league baseball. I don't. I, I can't bet. I, now, listen. I love cracking baseball cards. I'll buy some Bowmans and, and go prospecting for rookies and have fun. Uh in today's day and age, not like the old days, you just open up a pack of tops and like hoping to get a rookie card. But I, the bet on minor league baseball, I can't. I can't. I don't like laying 150 in major league baseball. I'm gonna. I can't tell somebody to lay 190, 190 in minor league baseball. I can't do it. Uh, like we produce a team that likes to start slow in the first half. They always do. I'll be looking for a live number and I'll be looking for foul trouble. That's the thing. And I said this yesterday here. I said it with Ross and Jesse and Winter Circle. I said it with Pound It and Tooch on on, on the uh, Bear Network, Bear Barroom. I have to wait. Are they going to let them play? Let the big boys play, or is it going to be touch foul city nonsense? Because then I think North, North Carolina State's got a big problem. Uh, Bowman says Norfolk Tides are the Orioles minor league team. Okay. I remember like the Pawtucket Red Sox. Uh, Columbus Clippers. Columbus Clippers were the Yanks back in the day. Jake says, what is more degenerate, minor league baseball or Korean baseball? I got to say minor league. At least Korean baseball is like a pro league in Korea. So like the MLB type of – I mean minor league baseball is minor league baseball. A's Detroit under eight and a half. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. A's can't hit. Michael B. I almost want to come in here on a Cubbies. The Dodgers line is falling. I don't need to check my samples in the world's betting the Dodgers. Yes. I agree. Like, take take the Cubs. I'm not sold on this this pitcher. Again, the, the to beat the Dodgers, you're gonna to have to hit their pitchers. They got it yesterday. They got nine runs. We saw this guy give up runs in his first start. Take the Cubbies. Worth a shot. Tampa Bay minus 115 at 12 o'clock. This would be the Tampa Bay Lightning versus the Pittsburgh Penguins. I like the over, Davis. Give me the over. Give me the over. Tim Bowman says, yeah, minor league baseball is a 1-800 game. I can't. I mean, I, and I get even like a – Timberland people in the chat here, uh, uh, player prop came will come in with a like college baseball parlays and stuff. And I don't know college baseball. I, I could almost understand it because we bet on college basketball. Minor league baseball? Uh, 
Now, if I could get player props in minor league baseball, I could know who's like the hot prospect kind of guy. That'd be something I'd be degenerate interested in. That was hockey. I I know that one. Tampa Bay over over first period, whatever you got to do. Take that over. To Moose is Syracuse or the Mets now. Okay. Syracuse Mets, by the way. Who are the lug nuts? Is it like a Pittsburgh lug nuts or something? Like it says, UFC starts early today, which stinks, but Curtis plus $2 on a money line and a plus 900 win by decision. <laughs> Winnipeg Jets. I agree Winnipeg Jets, Davis, only because our guy Peter Puck came in here last night. And with a name like Peter Puck, I'm going to give you the benefit of that. I think you kind of like hockey. So Peter Puck says the Winnipeg Jets. I will jump on the Jets with him and with you here. Winnipeg Jets, it is. Dave, my guy, good to see you. Survived the earthquake in New Jersey, 4.8 and a 4.0 aftershock. Like, I saw, like, a Twitter, like, oh, um, Californians laughing at a 4.8. Dude, like, uh, that in New Jersey, when you don't get earthquakes, like, every maybe 10 years you might get something. I, 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 so, yeah, it's a little shocking. Like, California can laugh. We don't get them all the time. So a, a 4.8, a 4, whatever the case may be, um, it's it's they're going to make a big deal out of it. You know, if L- if L.A. got three inches of snow, all the New Jersey would be like, really? You're upset? It's kind of like when it, it, you get like an inch of snow in Atlanta or, or, or Dallas and people are freaking out. The sky's falling. You know. Michael B. And good to see you, Dave. It's been a minute. Good to see you. Maybe you just don't comment as much, but I'm glad to see you back. Michael B., uh, I bet you could convince some minor league baseball players to throw a game for a bag. Those guys make nothing. You heard about the NBA betting on himself and lost when he banked in a three. <laughs> yeah. The minor league guys, what do you get? A dime a month? They don't make a lot of money. Steven, I, and I, I I go early with the minor league games, and I just get random autographs of players on the, on the sideline. I got my daughter. We'll get a, you know, bring a Sharpie, sign the, the, the little program, or get a ball sign or something. I'm always real thankful to the guys. Like I'm, not, I'm I mean, I've seen wacko guys here with like Bowman cards running them side. Like, come on, fella. Like, I mean, I had um, I got a Hunter Brown actually signed a Yoda jersey. Uh, they did a Star Wars night, so I had a Yoda jersey. He signed it. It's pretty cool. But um, yeah, I'm always nice to those guys. I enjoy the minor league games. It's fun. I do. I got. I. I got a. My bottom drawer of my file counter here is just filled. I got a stack of Space Cowboy jerseys. See, Bowman says I did alternate lines Purdue and UConn on line over eight in Dodgers game plus two forty two. I think that's a winner. I think it's a winner. One unit play. Not worth a shot. Fifth. Who do I think is winning the Stanley Cup? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I kind of like the Panthers, but I'm not gonna do a future now. Like that'll be. I'm just gonna. Teams are gonna get hot. That's how I play hockey. Goalies, stuff like that. I, I don't do futures in hockey. Player Prop King, just here for the stream. Appreciate Player Prop. Follow Player Prop. He's got a YouTube channel. Got those Player Props all over the joint. Dave says, Thomas Martin, minus 125 in the ATP Houston tennis. I'll follow you tonight, Davis. I am not a tennis cat. Michael B., I was going to make fun of you, New Jersey people, and your 4.8 quakes, but you took all the fun out of it. But it's the, tr- it's the truth, though. You know, like... For them, it's like, oh my god, it's a four point eight. That's normal. That's a that's a normal thing. Like again, Mike, if all of a sudden you got an inch and a half of snow, you guys would be freaking out. Cars would be flying off bridges. You know, be like, what, what are you talking about? You know, oh, six inches of snow. You got school today. It's the same thing. It's, you know, that's the way I look at it. Uh, Peter Puck's in the house. Here he is, Peter. I've been talking about it since the start of the show. You said Winnipeg Jets last night. You liked Winnipeg. But you like Dallas to win it all. All right. See him Bowman says Yanks Triple A team is Scranton Wilkes Bar. That's their triple A, yeah. I mean, that used to be the that, that used to, wasn't that the old Red Sox triple A back in the day? Or double A? Because Yanks had the Thunder and then they got rid of the Thunder. 
Um, I remember when they left Columbus, I was like, I can't believe they're leaving the Columbus Clippers to go somewhere else. <laughs> but it made sense. Like, you want your minor leagues close. Like, I, weren't the Mets minor league AAA, like, in Vegas or something? Like, how is that helpful to the Mets? Hi, right, Triple A's in Vegas. We need a guy today. <laughs> Let's fly him in. <laughs> Put him on. You know, where's the, uh, oh, you need supersonic jet. Get him here in an hour. You're, you're, I think your minor league team should be within like a two hour drive, three hour drive of your stadium. Get him there that day. Player process today is the day my Alabama future either comes to an end or a miracle happens. Yeah, that's possible. The threes are falling. You never know. We get someone in Cali, not the Bay normally, but we do get someone in good Porsche State. Yes, but if it, it if it snowed in San Diego, Mike, an inch, you guys would be freaking out. That I mean, come on, what, what how, how is this not a, a comparable? How often are the earthquakes in New Jersey? Ten years, twenty years, pretty rare. And a four point eight is the middle of the road, right? Ten is bad. Seven is so they're kind of a middle of the road one. That's like you guys getting six inches of snow in San Francisco. What'd you do with six inches of snow on the ground? Where are you going? How are you getting the snow off the road? You guys got plows? They get plows from, from Humboldt County to come down? What are you doing? Come on. David says Virginia minus 120 at 12 o'clock. Virginia. No idea what this even is. Baseball? College baseball? Peter Puck says, good morning. Yes, Dallas will win the West plus 450. Stephen Bowman says, I took the Diamondbacks plus one. Be fatty, baby. We love our be fatty. Finally came on. I liked him. He was terrible in the regular season. Nice run in the playoffs. We had him in his game one start. Again, this line came down. Stephen, I did look at lines last night. It was a 195. I see 170s now. And any update, Strider, MRI, is that true? Oh, my goodness. Team says D backs plus one and a half, a plus one fifteen last night, taking the runs. Six inches of snow day. That's like a snow week for you guys. Come on, Flea Mathis with a comment. Uh, Rays and Rockies team totals eleven and a half. They have a crazy wind windstorm in the time of game. What do you? Yeah, I saw that. It was like I, it was like a hundred mile an hour. Someone posted it would be like hundred mile an hour winds or something ridiculous. Do they even play that game today? Do they even play? Player process. It's been rough betting the last two or three days. Let's get back on track there with some college baseball. All right, we had a little rough one. It happens, player prop. Um, have you been uh, doing uh, your parlays of baseball, or, or just props have been rough for you? That's right. We're here to help. We're here to help. Got a couple winners for you. Here we go. I'll run them down because you know we're closing in on forty-five minutes. So we got the Dodgers team total over. We'll go Orioles run line plus 114, and we're going to take Texas as a small home faith. There you go. That's a nice 3-0 and night for you there in baseball. Get it started. There you go. Oh, my goodness. Vanderbilt minus 125. I cannot condone because I do not know. Davis, you got to jump into the Earl stream for college baseball. Unless a guy player props here. Maybe he's got a college baseball winner for you. But he's more of a Coastal Carolina. He's going to come in with the top teams and put two faves in a parlay for you. Me? Ugh. Uh, it's hard enough just winning baseball. Guys, I know I'm not jumping into college baseball top tens in parlay. Uh, props have been rough. I'm going to take your picks then. Yeah, I mean, we've been all right here. Again, you can go crazy with, with the – with the player props. I get it, right? Everything's a plus money when I foam. And you could do that, but you can't really bet significant unless you have a huge bankroll. I mean, what are you really putting on 15 player props for today? I mean, not a lot. I try to choose two or three, sometimes a little more if it's a really crazy day. I like the, the, the matchups, but like today I was going to use none. I'm like, you know what? I got to jump into Kansas City because I think they're going to hit Chris Flexen. And I got three with nice plus money. I'm hoping to go two and one. Uh, and if the two big guys, Melendez and Frazier, I'll pop them up here in the chat. Where are they? You know, Garcia leads off, but he leads a team in RBI. 
Melinda well, DeFraser in middle lineup, 185, 285. Again, it's Chris Flexen. I'll uh, have a nice day. Have a nice day. Uh, Tamoosh coming in. Cardinals game over seven and a half against the Marlins. Uh, the Marlins bullpen will probably give up three themselves. Mike Lehman's coming in. Starting starting the pot. I love it, Mike. Thank you. Send money for the Eagles. <laughs> Gaspin under six and a half Ks. I don't know. I'm a Gaspin guy, Peter Puck. I like Gaspin. I think he's really good. And under six and a half Ks, I don't know about that. I mean, what did he have his last game? Six, six and four innings, four and a third, six Ks, two hits. And you don't think this Yankee team strikes out? <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't know. I, 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 I guess the problem is, will he throw too many pitches? And not make it. You know what I'm saying? Like, is he going to get six because he's going to have six in three innings? Let's see the Yankees. Seven strikeouts, eight strikeouts. Um, How many have in this game? Four. I was versus Ryan Nelson. I'm trying to see them versus good pitchers. You know, 10 versus the Astros. Nine, again, versus the Astros in their next game. They swing and miss. 11. 10, 9, 11. And 12 versus Houston. Now, that's total strikeouts. Um, but again, everybody's getting a strikeout in inning. So, Gaspin's more of a strikeout guy. He can get two. I, I don't I don't like that under. Uh, like, is Coastal Carolina a top baseball program? I know ECU is supposed to be good. Do the big schools just not care about baseball? No clue. No clue. I'll leave that to uh, tomorrow to answer. Player prop. I have two nine... I have nine plays of college baseball, but no offense. Not trying to post all of them, but Virginia money line. Now, you don't have to post them all here. I, I mean, you, used to, you post a lot of stuff in here, right? You don't have to post everyone. I mean, you post them, I read them off. You know that. And it's Virginia minus 115. Uh, Reno Aces. Here we go. Reno Aces. Perky's in the house. Hammer and Higgy debating starting off the day ugly going against the Going against, going with the Tigers and Medea, although they look to be on the other side of the stick against by This game here, someone mentioned a nerfy. You want to do a nerfy in this game? Sure. Yesterday was the play here, Sanderson. Someone's like, because I was saying I want to take Oakland. I think I said I'm looking at lines. I want to take the $2. Two to one? I want to take it. But I just couldn't pull the trigger. Uh, but I want to fade Detroit somehow off a doubleheader and an early opener. And someone's like, take the run line. I ended up taking plus one and a half. And I actually took a three and a half when they were down. Uh, but as much as I want to take Detroit, uh, excuse me, take Oakland again today, I'm not going to play this game. You don't have to play this game. You don't have to play. You don't have to play. We'll wait a couple hours and take the Orioles. Uh, Yang strike out a ton. Yeah. But again, what Gossman is, is he going to throw so many pitches and be done like the last game. He had six and four innings. He was out. Guy was pitching a two-hitter. I had to take a guy with two. You know, it's early. You know, it's April. They, you know, are they going to let a guy go seven, eight innings? I don't know. That's the problem. Uh, Yanks made him work is what I figured he goes five. Yeah. I mean, this, he's definitely getting six. I don't see. But if he's efficient and... They're going to ground out. He's going to K an inning, and there's ground outs or two Ks and not a lot of throws. He's not going deep. It's just, you know, foul ball, strike a ball, and then a strikeout, and he's having fast innings. He's, he could go seven here. You know, if, if he goes six, he, I think he'll get six and a half. I don't know if he's going. That's the thing. I mean, uh, I, I don't understand our team, like, Toronto would take out, like, 
the best pitcher and bring in the bullpen. Leave your best guy in there. Try to get some runs. Peter Puck says, Nurphy is to play in Detroit. I agree. Perky says, I need to stay off. Again, I could do the Nurphy. You want to do that? But, I mean, side, no, nothing on the sides. O's today. I got him on the run line here in the chat, although those are the player props. Whoops. But the run line is scrolling underneath. It'll be there eventually. When it comes up, I'll read it off to you. Uh, Tamu says, have a good one, Sean. Good luck. You as well, Tommy. Good to see you. Be wrapping us up in a second. We're down to our last comment here. Yanks or should I? I say I don't see it happening again. I'm not saying Gasman's going to. Gasman might be able to shut him out and, and strike out eight and seven innings. Uh, there's the Oriole run line plus one fourteen. Again, no way they could get shut out again because they're just so good. If he goes six seven innings, my prop bet is toast. Yes. Uh, Cardinals money line versus the O and A Mariners. I'm all for fading teams on losing streaks. That being said, I don't love the Cardinal bunch. Um, but 150, if if I was getting 150 with the Marlins, I'd probably jump into Marlin Town now. Like, this is where I want to kind of, not that the team is due, but they're not going to go 0 162. If the price was better, I'd say I'll, I'll start taking the Marlins at 150, 160 to break out of their slump because I'm getting good plus money. At 125, 130, no thank you. No thank you. So, Cardinals, sure, sure. Let's wrap this up. So, uh, Dodgers team total over again. It's minus 120. That's fine. It was plus 20 yesterday. I'll go minus 120 today. O's run line, minus one, uh, plus one, 114. Rangers, minus 110 at home. Bama, plus 11 and a half. Nothing in hockey or NBA, although I did play the Kings for our guy Mel. And our guy Peter Puck likes the Winnipeg Jets. And Peter Puck sounds like a hockey guy. Let's, let's ride the, uh, the hockey guy. And speaking of Peter Puck, he's coming in. So my best play, the J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. There, guys, I just mentioned you, Peter Puck. Thanks for coming in. Uh, what do we got Sunday? Should I do some late-night money? Tonight? I'll probably do a late-night money tonight show. Who am I kidding? Little look at lines. Again, if you haven't subscribed to the Sean Higgs channel, I'm five away and 100 hours away from two new milestones, and I'll get a little badge or some nonsense. I don't know. I got nothing to look forward to. You can do that. Come on. Hit the like button and subscribe. I'm out of here. Good luck. No soccer, Davis, for me. Los Angeles Football Club, no thank you. Do not know soccer. Good luck.